so it's my first time in Kiev. I'm very happy to be here. Uh, I'm here uh, to give you a, a short presentation regarding some legal aspects of uh, startups, um, but from a practical point of view. Uh, so let's, uh, here you'll see the um, short uh, table of contents, what we'll discuss here. Um, about 10 tons, a little bit of marketing, but only little, I promise. Uh, uh, startup uh, cycle. So um, the, the four main phases of uh, each uh, startup concept, from planning, organization, to operation and exit, and uh, um, summary. Uh, so shortly about Dentons, Dentons is an international law firm. Uh, it was a startup uh, at the beginning. Um, so as all of you, the founders uh, need to have two uh, main uh, uh, characteristics. That is first, uh, have a vision and uh, be patient to do it and brave to do it. So they begin with uh, uh, less than 100 lawyers and then through organic growth and mergers grow to the seventh largest uh, international law firm. Uh, one of our core sector is uh, venture capital. Mm. Uh, and you may be asking yourself a question, how we make money on it? So how we monetize it? Uh, well, we don't earn on giving legal advice to startups, that's for sure but uh, we earn on uh, uh, giving services uh, when investing, uh, when the venture capital funds or private equity funds are investing into a startup. Not mainly a startup, but uh, a startup with uh, already in a stage uh, with uh, at least prospect for good revenues and uh, profit. Uh, so, um, as you see on the map, Dentons uh, is pretty much everywhere except for the South uh, America, and this is uh, for the founders something to do. Uh, okay, so do you remember at the beginning I said that it is a Pope concept, planning, organization, position, and exit, uh, and for letter P, uh, planning, uh, the first, of, of, of course, is a concept. So. Um, you have heard a lot here about uh, uh, about how how to sell yourself, uh, how to how the concept should be monetized, uh, how the concept sh should be unique. Uh, I I think that not much else could be said here, despite for the fact that uh, this you, you you need to always believe in, in yourself and uh, be patient. Uh, most of the fortunes were not made within weeks they, or, e or two, three years, but they, they needed more time to do it. So uh, at the beginning, of course, uh, um, the main questions are uh, whether you, you, you thought about, about the concept a while, uh, a while and uh, whether you have a plan how to go further, um, and whether you need uh, help from others at this stage. Uh, I think that help of others uh, uh, may be an important factor, uh, as uh, sometimes you will receive a feedback, which is important. Uh, and at this stage, uh, for sure, the person I would consult would be the, uh, of course, uh, um, not a tax, but uh, kind of uh, mm, uh, auditor, uh, a guy who is running the books to tell you what form of uh, startup to choose um, and what, what are the, the, the pluses and minuses for, for each one. It may also be good to ask a lawyer at this stage, um, but a lawyer which is uh, of course uh, working with venture capital funds because already at this stage he may tell you uh, uh, what are what may be the venture capital views and whether this will be a concept that may have a chance to succeed. As a next stage, this is the incorporation stage, uh, a lot of legal stuff here, uh, but usually 
most of startups uh, um, do not, uh, at, at the beginning, uh, uh, waste too much time in such discussions. They simply follow the, the advice uh, of an accountant or they simply choose to be a sole proprietorship. Um, however, at some stage of the process, you will face the questions uh, uh, that will, that will uh, concern the, the best structure for you to either operate or to, um, uh, or to um, attract funding. Of course, in some cases, uh, will, when your startup will be very successful and will be a cash cow, you will not need the funding at all. So I keep my fingers crossed uh, for you to, to achieve that. However, most usually, uh, you will like to attract a, a funding at certain stage. And uh, just quickly running through the, uh, through the forms of, uh, of uh, uh, let's say, structures. Sole proprietorship is simply that, for example, I uh, open an activity and go to the, to the uh, appropriate uh, 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 authority saying that from now on I will run activity named such and such. It's very easy to incorporate. Uh, uh, however, the minuses of the structure are mainly that you are still responsible and um, for the obligations of, uh, of the organization you are running and uh, all the taxes uh, uh, responsibility is also there and in some cases uh, uh, this uh, structure is not at all tax efficient and you can forget about attracting uh, funders uh, in such structure but as I said at the beginning, don't worry about it because at each time of the process you may either transform into the partnership or a corporation or you may uh, establish a one. Uh, with respect to partnership, uh, these structures uh, uh, have some tax uh, gains and usually are, usually are chosen for tax purposes. This is because usually partnerships, uh, of course it depends on region to region, are only taxed once, that is on the dividend, not on the operational level, where in case of a corporation you have double taxation, in principle that is uh, operation level and then dividend level. Uh, however, there are structures uh, available for corporation to uh, not to pay the, the dividend tax. Uh, in the case of partnership, however, um, the minuses are that these structures are not flexible, not too much flexible in terms of attracting funders. And usually venture capitals or private equity houses, uh, they do not know such structure, they don't want to invest into it. So this is also something that you should bear in mind. However, it, it depends on the region. In Germany, such structures, as I said, are more common. The mostly common the structures are corporations, uh, usually the LLC, limited liability companies or joint stock companies. Why? Um, of course for the tax reasons, but also mainly due to the very yeah, uh, flexible the terms of uh, exiting, like. of, uh, of uh, um, uh, very uh, flexible terms of protecting investments, etc., etc. And then of course for the liability reasons, uh, as in case of corporation, the only liable usually guys are those uh, running the business, uh, th those on the management board, sometimes on their supervisory board. Mm. With respect to the operations I level, I, uh, I think that that may be a moment, that may be a phase where you so should think about hiring a lawyer, a earlier, uh, uh, at least uh, a lawyer who is uh, uh, who knows a lot uh, about IP rights early. and protections so, yeah. um, so because uh, there is a lot of uh, things that you Maybe may gain early, from such time. advice and there's a lot of uh, things you may lose. Of course, um, the, the most important element of each uh, startup structure and especially the, mm, the mm, internet startup is what you do not see here, that is the software and tools that enable you for the startup to work. 
so the, the internet platform, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, and in this case, for sure, uh, the IP issues will be of uh, of essence. Uh, well, uh, usually when you are doing an internet internet startup, uh, uh, the, 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 the 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 basic thing is to open an internet site. You must be careful that the author of the internet site transfer all the rights uh, to you to the site. You will have to think about how to contract with customers. Uh, usually, you do not make an individual contract. You uh, you simply uh, uh, buy and sell the products through the general terms, and those general terms must be uh, must be tailored by the right lawyer. Uh, personal relations is an important thing. Uh, as soon as uh, your startup will be you know operating quite well, you will need more and more people. Some of them you will need to trust. Uh, some of them, uh, of course, will be a person that you would like to have partners with them. And uh, uh, but always you have to think in mind what uh, what will happen if something goes wrong. That is, that person want to leave you, or you think simply that happens that this person is better than you, uh, and uh, how to protect your interest. So the basic uh, terms which you will need to know at this stage are NDA, non-disclosure agreements, and IP rights. Uh, uh, the, 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 the persons which will work for you um, uh, may, from time to time, um, let's say, establish, uh, 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 create a product that, uh, that, uh, will, um, uh, that will be of importance to, to your corporation. So uh, the basic question is, whether the rights of this product are yours or this guy, especially what when the, when he uh, he would like to terminate the contract, and uh, you have uh, uh, just for uh, just a basic uh, note here that uh, if uh, if the if a person is on the employment contract and generally everything he creates belongs to you, the company, the startup company. However, if it's a civil contract, everything must be written there because otherwise you end with, uh, with nothing. And uh, with IP protection, we a little bit touch, uh, touch it. Uh, just a general note, for sure you may have a, a perfect protection for a trademark, a sign. Uh, you may have a perfect protection for a patent, but for the know-how, it is quite difficult and only a civil protection may be available. And this is the, let's say, third stage of the, of the um, startup. Uh, of course, um, if, uh, if you need the funding, then this stage will, will apply. Um, and uh, I can only say that, um, that uh, when you will be attracting investors, uh, they will play their own game, the venture capital game. And usually, when you will be needing money, uh, you need to be prepared that you, might, you must play the game. And usually, you are not in the better position than they are. So you must find a, a lawyer to help you in such investment. On the, one, on the one hand, trying to protect your interest, but on the other hand, uh, trying uh, to make the deal. So he will also have a different, uh, difficult role, and you must uh, you must trust in such guy because it's very easy to kill the deal, uh, but uh, when you kill a deal, then nobody is happy, uh, and especially the startup guy. So, um, so what are the main terms uh, which you need to know when when there will be a funding uh, round or or uh, other kind of other subscription? Investment term sheet, usually you, um, you, you execute it at the first stage, sometimes called the TS, HOT, or LOI, uh, letter of intent. Uh, in this uh, term sheet, all the, all the factors important for the investment and, and to, for the protection of the VC uh, are, uh, are stated there. Uh, at, uh, usually, the, uh, the VCs uh, will go for the minority uh, stake, and in such case, uh, uh, 
um, the important issues will be how to protect the minority stake. And, uh, there are a number of uh, there are a number of uh, um, mechanics to do it. Um, usually, the most uh, important are as follows. Uh, uh, usually, the, the venture capital guys would like to uh, would like to have a, a, a observer or other member at the supervisory board committee. They would like to, uh, to have anti-dilution clauses. That is when the share capital will be increased. They will have at least a right to in increase in the same proportion. On the other hand, you must be very careful because uh, uh, it goes to, to, uh, to let's say, ways. Um, the venture capital guy may want to increase their share capital because the, the, the company may need uh, investment and uh, what then, how you are protected. Uh, scope of reserved matters, usually um, uh, this, uh, this scope may be quite, uh, uh, quite, uh, quite contain a lot, of, uh, a lot of things from uh, strategic like, uh, like uh, mergers, uh, selling of shares, uh, dividend payments. For all of these matters, the venture capital institution or an angel investor would like to have a veto right. Um, and uh, um, also, the, um, in some cases, uh, the catalog of reserved matters may also um, refer to operational issues. So we, you will not be able to, to let's say, uh, make an investment or contract obligation above such and such a level. Uh, but uh, it's, not, uh, it's not usual, it's, uh, it's rather of an exception. And uh, the most important thing in this phase of funding uh, will be, of course, uh, restriction on sale of shares and on exit. Uh, as you can imagine, when a venture capital uh, fund invests, they would not and would be very unhappy to, uh, to end in a situation where uh, you as a founder would uh, freely sell the shares and they, will, uh, and they would have to um, uh, stay there. Why? Because whatever they will be selling to you, uh, and most of things what you're selling is, is good to take, however, remember that you will always operate the company, and uh, venture capital funds usually do not have resources to do that. They have know-how, they can, they can, uh, they can and that is very important, they can uh, show your case to the world, attract others, uh, give you, give you know-how tools, and uh, capital, but they will not, usually not operate the company um, because they simply they don't do that. Um, so um, the main terms uh, when protecting your interest, uh, the, the venture capital interest, or sometimes your interest, are uh, connected with restriction on shares. So you will mm, uh, uh, find that uh, the, the main terms uh, that try to be implemented is a lockup. Lockup is simply a period during which uh, uh, you may not transfer shares as a founder uh, or, or the venture capital may not transfer shares um, except for certain conditions. Uh, for example, in the case of, of uh, bed lever, yeah? if you are as a founder sick or, or something uh, or the, the, the truck hit at you, uh, which I of course uh, imagine will not happen. Uh, drag along. Drag along is a very important instrument for venture capital. Uh, usually, when they invest, uh, they of course uh, uh, envision that within certain uh, certain time they will exit, and uh, the investors which will uh, buy it usually other uh, private equity funds or strategic players. Um, not not. Uh, they may not be attracted by purchasing only minority shares, but they would like to, to purchase uh, the main stake. It may happen. So uh, drag, uh, drag along is a right that when the venture capital, for example, sells shares, he may drag you, and on, on certain terms, uh, also uh, in proportion to your uh, shares, uh, sell your shares. Um, tag along right, tag along right is, uh, is a right that uh, you may, when somebody is selling shares, you may sell the shares with him. And this may be an important instrument to protect your interest as a, as a founder, but it's also uh, good for, for the venture capital to have it. 
uh, call options, put options. Uh, these uh, these are quite rare, but sometimes happens that uh, on certain conditions, uh, venture capital uh, or you, if you negotiate good, uh, uh, can have a right to uh, to purchase uh, your shares, uh, and um, put is the right to sell the shares to you. So at the beginning of the investment, you simply uh, make an offer that. Uh, uh, so, the, for, for example, venture capital um, uh, fund, and uh, the venture is protected that uh, at, uh, at, the, uh, at the time, at the time stipulated in the TS or in the investment agreement, he may he may choose to to use that right. And of course, the uh, the main issues there uh, to remember are. Uh, at what, what price uh, earlier, such a right may be exercised, and in, in what uh, in what conditions? Usually, usually uh, the venture capital funds would like to have a uh, would have would like to have a put, so the right to sell their shares to you if something goes bad from your fault. So simply, you are not delivering, um, but uh, the bad terms lever. Uh, would, of course, have to be very precisely um, stipulated. And um, at the last stage uh, is the exit. I'll exit, so uh, the right to, uh, uh, not the right, but the situation where yeah, the venture only, capital, the angel investor, or you that's are that's exiting from the investment and simply uh, realizing the profits. Yeah, this guy is, uh, uh, three probably, main, they're, they're, let's say, routes, uh, how to do it. Uh, up there. Um, there first is internal one, so between shareholders or the, between the shareholders and management board members. Um, it's uh, resale to founders. Uh, and, uh, and in some cases, uh, uh, the, um, the founders, uh, the, uh, if especially the, um, uh, the, the set of the, um, the um, startup is going very well, or is a cash cow, or uh, uh, or the, the the founders have uh, means to 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 to, um, uh, to purchase the shares, or they have a means to attract financing to purchase the shares, and they believe in the business. They usually want to uh, buy the shares from the uh, venture capital, and there are instruments, uh, legal instruments, uh, enabling you this. Apart from the one that we just discussed, are the instruments connected with right of first refusal or preempty right? A right of first refusal or preempty right. So, uh, uh, when the venture capital would like to sell shares, uh, he must, uh, with the, for example, a conditional sale agreement, show it to you, and you simply, as a founder, uh, say yes or no in terms that you would like to, on the same terms purchase the shares and not the third party. Um, so um, so you, you must remember about these. MBO, management buyout, so if you are a founder, uh, management buyout, simply buyout to, uh, to the managers. Um, the, the second route is uh, not internal but external. That is uh, uh, connected with uh, private sale or auction sale. Private sale is pretty simple. Um, uh, one to one, uh, the, the private equity house or venture capital is uh, is selling the shares uh, to a strategic investor or other other company. Uh, where, uh, in the case of auction sale, uh, it is a very good instrument to uh, for the seller from the seller perspective. As in the auction process, uh, uh, of course, it's not a live auction, but it's a um, it's a process when uh, a lot of investors interested in the in the target would like to purchase shares, and the one who will give the best price. But if the price are pretty pretty comparable, uh, the one who will be more flexible. To do the deal quickly, and uh, uh, who will offer them uh, the, the the best rights to the uh, to the founder or to the um, uh, to the management board members wins, and in such case, uh, uh, it's usually written offers which are uh, which yeah, are placed sale, with the we'll agent the of the sale, and uh, right. and uh, then such uh, agent. Uh, 
simply uh, sits with you and then or with the that, uh, it depends who is selling, of course, the sale, but with the seller deciding to who the, to sell. So auction sale is, is quite popular. IPO, IPO, uh, so initial public offering, Andrew, so um, the, um, selling shares uh, through, a, through a stock. Um, uh, of, of course, this is, uh, this is very formal way and quite difficult, but, but a one that could be uh, achieved. In summary, uh, at each stage there are risks, and I see that my, my time is just ending even, so, so I'm, I'm ending too.